Hello there guys, um, welcome to another video, and today we're going to learn how to stream all your movies and all your music so you can access them through your browser from anywhere in the world. So let's say you're bored at your grandma's house, you don't want to listen to old people, and what if I told you you could watch um, all the movies you have on your computer through your browser? Let me show you, I already have mine set up, so, so as you can see, I'm on my browser right here, and let me just choose a movie. As you can see, the movie's playing. It's pretty good, um, pretty good quality. Um, I know it's pretty bad for you, but that's because I'm recording and it doesn't get the frame rate right. But um, yeah, guys, let's get started here. Okay, guys, so now we gotta download the software that allows to do what we just did a minute ago. So let's go ahead and download it. Just go to tversity.com/download and download it. I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. I'm just gonna run it. Run. Next. Accept. Next. And if you don't want any additional software being installed on your computer, make sure you take this off. And then install. This shouldn't take long, so I'm just gonna speed this up for you, uh, so I don't have you guys waiting. When it says if you wanna restart, don't do it now, but keep in mind you gotta do it later. So just hit no. So hit next and finish. So now we gotta configure to Tversity. Okay guys, so once in Tversity, you're gonna go right up here to the settings tab and then hit general. On general, you're gonna see a few options. Let's let's get to the first one, which says media play by device. You're gonna leave it as it is, auto detect. Then down here where it says meter sharing, you gotta make sure this it's always running otherwise there was no work so just hit start sharing alright now I'll scroll down a bit more and you're gonna see temporary media files uh, leave it as it is and then the last one where it says home network you make sure you click here and then you set your own password and username so person one two three four five one three, four five this is gonna be your own personal password so you're the only one who can access your movies and stuff. Okay, now that we're done with this, uh, don't touch anything else down here. So just click save. And let's go ahead to the transcoder. Okay, on the transcoder, I'm just going to give you the settings that work best for me. I hope they do for you too. So here in the first option where it says when to transcode, um, I put only when needed. So that works pretty good for me. Then scroll down a little bit where it says uh, maximum video and image resolution. I don't think this matters when you're streaming to your browser, but it does when you're streaming to a device like um, PlayStation 3 or Xbox. If you want to know how to stream to your PlayStation 3, I have another video on my channel. Go check it out right now if you want. Okay, moving on. Down here where it says Windows Media Encoder. Um, check this. And then here uh, it should be Windows Media Video 9. Okay. Um, down here where it says Optimization. If you have a slow connection, you put um, Speed. If you have a fast connection, you put Quality. Um, down here you just choose whatever connection you have so for me it's wired um, 100 mbps and it's pretty high so I just put high okay um, where it says compression again if you have a fast computer I mean a fast connection you put um, minimum if you have a slow connection you put maximum okay now I'm down here leave edit everything as it is and now we're pretty much done with Tversity now just one more thing port forwarding Okay hey guys, if you're behind a router, we're going to need to open a port. And the port we're going to open today is um, port 41952. And the reason we got to do this is because if you don't do it, your router is not going to accept any connections coming from outside of your network. So don't worry if you don't know how to port forward. I'm just going to give you a link. And it's going to tell you exactly how to do it for your own router. So just click the link. And just check it over here. Now in, on this page, you got to find your router. So let's say... Um, by the way, if you don't know how to find your router model, it should be on the back of your router somewhere, or on the bottom. So let's just say you have this one. Click over here, and then click where it says, click here to skip this advertisement. Now, on this page, um, you should look for Tversity Meta Server. It should be somewhere on the T. Uh, should be around here. Okay, Tversity Meta Server. And it should tell you how to port forward for your own router. 
And if you still don't get how to pour forward, uh, I'm just gonna put a link down in the description to another YouTube video. And so if you're still unsure how to do it, uh, just go to that video and it should tell you. It's really easy. So now just go up here to the library tab up here in the top. And then I'm just gonna add my movies folder. So add item folder. Browse. I'm just gonna browse to my movies folder. She's right here. Mm, waiting to load. Movies. And then just give it a name. Movies. And tag doesn't really matter. And then submit. Just where you can add movies. Um music, photos, any, anything you want really. So now let's see if it works. Okay guys, now to see if it works, we're gonna go ahead and open up your browser. And on your browser, you're gonna type in your IP. And I'm gonna blur this out if you don't mind, for security purposes. So type your IP. After you're done with that, uh, put a column. And then the T versus report, 41, 952, slash flash lib. Okay, now you put in your own username and password that we already set up on the Tversity menu. So, mine's personal, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Login. And as you can see right now, um, it's working pretty good. Um, the files that you added should be under, under folders. So, just click folders. Let's see if it works. Um, whatever. As you can see, it's working pretty good, and like I already said, it should be it should look pretty bad for you. Uh, that but that's because I'm recording, and I think we're pretty much done here, guys. I hope you all you all understood my stupid accent, and until next time, I'll see you later.